since launching the Ionic EV last year, Hyundai New Zealand has gone on to dominate new EV sales. It's uh, expanded the range this week with the launch of the uh, Kona EV, and uh, we're here at EV World to talk with Hyundai New Zealand Andy Sinclair about the car and their plans for the electric vehicle market. Thanks for joining us, Andy. Yeah, my pleasure. So we've you've just launched the Kona Electric. We've got one here right behind us, and I'm sure there's a few more floating around the show today. Um, uh, can you tell us, I mean, about the vehicle? People are pretty enthusiastic to find out about the price. I mean, it's probably out there on the market a little bit now, but uh, can you tell us what the range is and, and how you came up with that, uh, that price? Okay, I guess I'll start with the price. Um, entry model is 73,990, and Elite is, uh, and you know, you gain leather and all the luxuries, is 79,990. How we came up with the price um, is, is pretty simple. It's what the car costs to produce. Battery technology is expensive, and I'm um, understanding that you know the general population would like to think that the more EVs that are out there, the price will come down. And I think eventually that will happen. But while we're doubling the range of vehicles, there's a technology cost to that. So um, if you actually look at the Ionic at 59,990 with a range of uh, a real world range of just over 200 kilometres, although we had a customer call us the other day and say they had got 260 k's. So um, compared to the Kona EV with a range of, a real world range of over 400 k's, um, you know, it, it's double the range. It's, it's not double the price, um, but you know, the cost is in battery technology. You've, you've got a, a lower kilowatt hour 39.9.2 model coming. Uh, how low do you expect that price to get? I mean, are you expecting that to be somewhere between the model you've launched now and the Ionic? I think that would be a logical projection, um, somewhere in that range. The reality is just as we launched the Kona EV for the first time to the New Zealand public at field days, we didn't have a price. It's not because we didn't want a price, we certainly hadn't received one from the factory. Right. So, and it's the same with the 39.2. We do not have that price yet. So, you know, I, I can't speculate. Right, right. What's the initial interest in, been like? And have you seen a, a few pre-orders come through the door so far? Well, it's amazing. So we had over 2,500 people uh, specifically on our Kona EV database. Right. You know, we sold a dozen at field days without a price, you know, with a, hey, if, if the person wasn't happy with the price, clearly we would have refunded the deposit, but we had uh, 12 sales with deposits taken um, without a price. And I imagine your deposits are a little more solid than what we've seen with Model 3 pre-ordering. It's more than $1,500 down and you can yeah, walk out yeah, at I'd, any time. Yeah, it's, it's probably a little bit more solid than that, I'd imagine, Richard. Out of that pre-activity, we had another um, 10 sales through, through the dealer network with deposits taken. Mm. Um, and yesterday when we went out to the database and gave the price, uh, gave some more information, I had uh, half a dozen dealers ring me last night and say they'd had people just walk in and um, pay deposit. Right. Can you give us a figure of how many in total you've got uh, orders on now? And, and well, what is the supply like? I mean, how many of these can you get? There is strong global demand for the car. Yeah, well, there's um, just over 30 that are, are sold straight away. Um, with deposits taken and um, there's uh, six that will be going out to customers uh, this month. Global demand is, is very strong as you know. You know we're a little country at the end of the world and we'll, we'll fight to get every single one we can. Most manufacturers have model synergy with Australia. Mm. Australia have been uh, very late adopters of EVs. Yes. Um, so again, as we did with the Ionic, we've taken Kona with Irish spec because that was the only spec we could get to fit with New Zealand. Um, and we've, we've taken it early because we're a real believer in um, going ahead with EVs. Hyundai has quickly become, as I said in the intro, the, the leading brand for new EV vehicles in New Zealand. I mean, was that deliberate or just with Ionic coming along, is that just the way things have worked out for you? Well, I think. First and foremost, unlike most of our competitors, um, Hyundai New Zealand is 100% New Zealand owned company. So, you know, we have got real, real belief in being green for the sake of the country and driving change. So it's, um, you know, it's not by accident that we're number one. 
that's where we believe we want to be and where we think is, is best for the country. Mm -hmm. the, uh do you have any intention to get involved in charging infrastructure? We've seen you know, uh, uh, one of the European brands get partnered with uh, ChargeNet. Um, what do you see as being your role in uh, assisting getting that charging infrastructure out there for those vehicles, particularly now when you've got the Kona EV, which is a larger battery vehicle and uh, can take a lot of time to charge on public stations? We haven't got any um, partnership plans for uh, public charging at this stage. Um, Clearly it's important to us that uh, we have all of our network um, first and foremost being able to charge our cars and 80% mm. of our network um, are capable. Going forward, um, you know, if an opportunity presents itself which is beneficial to our customers, then we will work with um, whoever that may be. Why are you guys at EV World and, and can you tell us a little about what you've got on, on display uh, at the event? Well, I think EV World um, is a great opportunity for us to showcase our product lineup and for my team to interact with our customers and, and talk to them, find out you know what the concerns are. You know, obviously range comes up, but with Kona that is going to be gone, and just um, you know how to charge, what maintenance periods are, all of those things. So I'll have a full team here that'll be able to um, chat to our customers or our potential customers or even anyone interested in EV, even if they're not going to buy a brand. So what's the future for Hyundai when it comes to electric vehicles? What uh, other models can we expect to see from you? I think Hyundai is very invested um, in the technology and you know we know that we will have at least another three dedicated EV platforms in the next three years. Um, we're expecting to see PHEV in our, uh, well, New Zealand's favourite family wagon, the Santa Fe. What kind of time frame for that? Because that'll be fairly groundbreaking for the market on the moment. Yeah, time, time frames, um, as you've probably realised with us launching Ionic and uh, Kona, uh, it, that's always kept fairly well under wraps and then um, when it's available, uh, we're out there telling everyone. <laughs> I know one question on that vehicle that a lot of people are really asking from, from uh, the questions that pop up on Facebook all the time. Will it be a seven-seater? The Santa Fe PHEV? Santa Fe PHEV. Yes. Wow, yes. fantastic. Yep. And so post uh, Santa Fe? Um, we will have to see what else um, is in the pipeline. Um, I guess we should mention um, FCEV, fuel cell electric vehicle, in the form of Nexo, which um, starts production in right-hand drive um, in November this year. Mm. Um, clearly for us, um, we're, we're keen to um, explore that technology as well. Mm. Um, but that is very much dependent on infrastructure. Fantastic. Brilliant. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, mate. Brilliant. Uh, so EV World is on Friday and Saturday this week. Come down and uh, check out the Hyundai range here at the stand. And I believe you can also go for a ride and uh, potentially drive in it out in the uh, park outside. Thanks so much. Thank you.